Today, I'm going to show you how to make this with the help of LottieFiles.com. What is up, everybody? Gary Simon here. So today, we're going to be checking out something called LottieFiles.com. Now, I've covered creating Lottie am animations before. And if you don't know what Lottie is, uh, definitely check out the video. I'm gonna try to remember to link it in the description here, uh, but it's basically by Airbnb. And they created it a while ago, several years ago, but it allows you in short to use After Effects to create awesome animations, not only just for the web, but also other platforms. Um, and so LottieFiles.com, if you go there, they actually have a marketplace where you can download, uh, there's both free and paid uh, resources, Lottie animations that other very talented uh, you know, animators who know After Effects very well have created. Um, so like if we go to Popular, for instance, uh, it's gonna show you some Popular, um, and these ones are paid, although they're very cheap. Uh, if, you're, if you're building a project for a client or whatever, I mean, these are still really cheap. Um, but the animations are very high quality, um, they're vector, and they work very well. And so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be showing you how to download a free one and what it takes to integrate it on an actual website. So just to show you real quickly again, our little example, uh, if you click, click, click get started rather, uh, we could see this confetti animation uh, takes place. And so we're controlling it with JavaScript, you know, based on when it, it plays and we're, control we're controlling the, uh, the position and all that with CSS. And so we're going to get all into that and more. So as always, if you haven't yet, subscribe and let's get started. Before we begin, getting a job in design is more competitive than ever, which is why you need to focus on skills that help you stand out. In a recent study by Design Week, 70% of respondents said that their company is investing more in interactive prototyping. So Framer is here to help you level up. Getting started is easy. Import from your favorite design tool and start swapping static elements for interactive components. Set up transitions with just a few clicks and create impressive animations right on the canvas, all 100% code free. The result is presentation dynamite, prototypes that show clients, teammates, and even your boss that you're a cut above the rest. So sign up for free or get 20% off any paid plan by visiting framer.com forward slash design course. It is the first link in the description here on YouTube. All right, so we're here at LottieFiles.com. So as you can see, if we go up here, there's a marketplace. Um, you can go to popular feature, blah, blah, blah. If you just go up here or you just uh, click in the search Lottie, uh, animations bar. Um, if you need something specific like confetti, we'll see what we end up getting. And so now you just have a preview of a bit, bunch of different types of um, animations that you can now integrate for whatever purpose in your projects. Um, and so the one that I ended up I uh, settling on is this one right here. All right, pretty nice. I like it. And there's, uh, you can actually convert this to a GIF file, although it, it wouldn't look as, as good in my opinion. Um, you can download the JSON file directly. Um, that way you can, it could be self-hosted, but just for ease of use, uh, we can copy the Lottie animation URL here um, and you can get started that way. And that's the way that we're gonna go ahead and get started anyhow. Um, so let's just say that this is the one that you want for some sort of interaction. Um, so we have this here copied, um, but we made back up just a second. Um, I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code here. I have a new folder. Um, it's just an index.html file with the following markup. I we're just linking to a CSS main.css uh, file. I'm using SAS here, um, and so if you go to your extensions, you're going to want the live SAS compiler right here. You want to install that. And we're also gonna use the live server here in a second. So those two, in order to follow along with this uh, tutorial, you're gonna need. Um, once you do install that SAS, just right click, or go down here and click watch SAS. Um, as you can see, mine's currently watching. And then right click, open with live server on the index.html. And here we go, we can see it's completely blank. All right, so to get started, um, there's actually a couple ways you can get started with this. Um, for instance, they have what's called the, uh, the web player, web player at lottiefiles.com. And I'll, I'll figure I'll just show you that real quick. So if you go here, 
all right? And you can paste this Lottie animation URL right here into this section right here. So you can see, um, you know, the one that we want. Now it's gonna allow you to kind of specify some defaults uh, like the play mode, normal, direction, forward or backward. Um, what do you want the background color to be? Transparent pretty much. Uh, I'm sure, I assume everybody will want that. Um, and then you can display controls. These are the controls underneath it that it's referring to. You can choose to hide those. You can auto play or not, loop or not, and make it play on hover. Although I'm not sure why they wouldn't also include like click or whatever, but whatever. And then based on your options specified here, it's, it has the generated code that you just copy and paste literally um, right into, sorry, your, uh, your HTML document. So if I just paste that and we go back to the, uh, page here, there we go. This is our index.html. So you can also see, you know, if we, we get rid of the controls, um, we can, we can leave autoplay on, leave it at loop. We'll just copy this bottom portion and you'll see that it'll update everything as we want it, but that's, we're not going to use the, uh, the player for this one though. So yeah, as you can see the, the, it is gone here. So that's just a real quick and easy way to get it integrated. Um, it's using um, web components, basically. You can see the custom HTML element, Lottie player. All right, um, sorry, somebody's texting me. So the way we'll do it is uh, through body moving. So if I type in body moving CDN, uh, we'll have CDNJS, uh, content delivery network. We'll copy this one right here, and then we're gonna paste that in, all right? so. Now, the way we get this integrated, uh, and let me make sure I show you the documentation. Um, let's see here. It's not here. Um, right here. So if you go to this page, um, you're gonna find the, and this is by, by the way, this is from Airbnb. Um, if we click on web over here, uh, it's gonna tell you how to get this uh, running and integrated. Um, so I definitely wanted to, to mention that just because there's there's a lot more um, that you can do with it than what I'm just going to show you. Um, so the way we'll get started is we're going to create an HTML element which needs to serve as the container of some sort um, for the actual Lottie animation. Um, I'm going to create a couple other, uh, some a little bit of other markup though, just to kind of put it in a real world context like where is a card. So we're going to have a div container and then we're going to have the... Uh, SVG, um, we'll just give this an SVG ID as well. Uh, this is gonna be the container for our Lottie animation. Um, I'm also gonna hide it by default initially. So I'm gonna add a class of hide. And then also uh, an H1, my card title. I'm not very creative with the content here. Lorem, we'll do like 15 words of Lorem. Ipsum text. And then finally, the last element will be a button and I uh, get started. I don't know, something like that. All right, so again, if we come out here and we look at what's happening, not very exciting, all right? So let's get this styled up real quick. I'm not gonna run through custom, you know, every single uh, line or rule set. Again, nothing fancy is happening here. We're just centering everything. Uh, we're changing the color so it looks like this and it centers everything vertically and horizontally. Um, additionally, I'm going to also paste in some, um, another rule set where we have our container. We're just setting this position relative so that we can take our SVG class or our Lottie container and give that a position of absolute. Um, that way it can animate on top of our elements and we'll be able to position it however we want. Also, just some uh, style work on H1 and the paragraph element. And so if we save that, this is what this looks like so far. Now our button looks pretty ugly. So when it comes to buttons, there's a lot of markup to make them look good. So this is all the markup for that. Again, there's nothing exciting happening here um, at all. <laughs> it's just all style work. So now again, if we look at that, this is our button, all right. And now the good stuff, and it, it really we, had, we don't have that much uh, CSS. We're gonna take our SVG class, which is the Lottie container. Um, we're gonna say width 200 pixels. So 
Adjusting the width here will increase or decrease the size of the, um, the illustration that's animating. Uh, we're gonna do position absolute. Its parent is position relative. So that means when this is absolute, it's gonna be positioned relative to its parent container and not the overall document. Um, and then we're gonna do top negative 40 pixels and left negative 30 pixels. And that just helps us move around that animation. And I did this through trial and error. Um, and then pointer events, we're gonna say none. And I'll demonstrate what that does by toggling that off too. And then um, hide that class, we're gonna display none by default. Um, well, I guess we'll leave this empty for now just to show. Um, so right now, if we go to it, again, nothing really changed because we don't have uh, our, our Lottie file integrated and we don't have any of the JavaScript that's necessary to make this stuff work. So now we're just gonna create some inline JavaScript uh, or in this document at least. And with that, uh, we're gonna get our button first. All right, so it is our document a query selector because we're gonna play the Lottie animation when that button is clicked. All right, we also need to get our SVG uh, container or the Lottie container. So we're gonna create a uh, const SVG container um, document dot get element. Oops, I'm screwing up. There we go. I was wondering why wasn't my uh, hints working? All right, SVG as this has an ID of SVG right here. All right, and then now what we do is we say const um, anim item equals body moving dot load animation. All right, so inside of here, we put a series of options. So wrapper is gonna be the SVG container that's defined on line 28. And then also the animation type, this can be a few different options. I think I believe Canvas is one and HTML and then SVG. So we're using SVG here. Uh, loop, we're gonna set to false. Autoplay is gonna be false because we don't want it to autoplay obviously. Uh, and then path is gonna be the path to the JSON file that we copied from the lottiefiles.com site. So we just put that right there, we'll be good. And we're ready to rock. All right, so at this point, if I save it, we don't yet see anything. I, so if I hit Control Shift I, we go to our elements, I'm just looking for something myself. We could see we have a div class um, of SVG and hide, but we don't yet see uh, the actual element. So if I go back to my main SAS, yeah, we ha we don't have it hidden. I thought I would see the first frame of it, but let's just keep on writing so that we can get this active. Because right now we don't have a event listener for the button where we click it, which will fire it off. So now all we have to do is um, for our actual play button, let's change this to play by the way play .add event listener click now inside of here all we do is SVG um, well let's go ahead and first put in anim item because this is uh, our instance of the body moving right here anim item uh, we're gonna say you could just say play now let's see if this works there it goes so yeah it works but the problem with play is if we just click it again, it doesn't start again. So there's a couple other, a couple ways to do this. Um, you can say go to and play frame zero and then true in the second uh, options there, second parameter. So now if we click this, um, we click it again, it's just gonna keep on working. All right, very cool. I did tell you, I was gonna show you what cursor um, a, por a pointer events does. I, before I remove that, we can see when this is playing, we can still have access to, you know, everything behind that element. But if we don't have that on the SVG or the Lottie container, then this is what happens. We can't click it. So pointer events, none helps us with that issue. Um, 
Now, at this point, I what's interesting to me is when I was preparing this project, I had a little bit of other markup to hide this element, but I guess I didn't have to with this particular animation because this animation by default starts off as a blank frame. There's there's nothing there at frame zero. That's not always the case with some of these Alotti animations. Um, let me show you how easy it is, but, and I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. If we go back to um, confetti here, so you can see if we go to frame zero, like I said, there's nothing here. If there was something there, we would see it if we didn't do the fix that I'm about to show you. So for instance, um, this one. So this right here at frame one has this element. So let's just use this. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna go back here and we're gonna paste that right here. Let's save it. And we're gonna go back to our document and you could see it now, it's, uh, it's playing but it's on top. So the way you would fix that is we would go ahead to uh, right here. First, we're gonna um, set it to display none. So now that will fix the issue of us seeing it. But then if we click it, we're still not gonna see it because it's on display none. So what we'll do here, SVG container dot class list dot remove hide. So this means when somebody clicks it, we're gonna remove that, we're gonna make it not hidden anymore. Um, and then we're gonna add in, uh, an event listener, anim item .add event listener. Um, complete is one of the things that you can use um, for this body movement plugin. And what we can just say is once the animation is complete, we can say SVG container dot class list dot add, we're gonna add it back, the hide animation. So then we can save this and now it's going to work as expected. So if we, once it's done and then it, and it gets hidden. So this is a dumb example because it's not styled. It's not the one I wanted to use. I would, I would position that a lot differently if I were to use that one. But if we go back to um, the original, which let me copy and paste off the side of the screen, we'll look at the final result one more time. All right, and here it is. So let's uh, get this nice big and look at that. So there are so many options here at um, lottiefiles.com. You know, th these right here, free animation files. I mean, there's a marketplace where you have packs that you can use. I'm just gonna look through these a little bit because I, I'll be honest, I haven't even looked through some of these. Um, for instance, a pack would be good for somebody who has a serious project um, and you want a consistent aesthetic um, for your website all around. And this makes complete, you know, in total sense to me. I wonder if they have page transitions, like transition. Yeah, so you can use this stuff to, to transition from different pages and stuff. And perhaps I'll uh, do a video, you know, I showing, you know, how to integrate these as well. Awesome, awesome stuff.